What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at a pretty cool feature found in the iPhone 12 that's been on the iPhone for a few generations here and that's optimized battery charging. This feature is a great way to preserve your iPhone's battery life and in this video we'll be going over what is optimized battery charging, how it helps your iPhone's lithium-ion battery and where you can find it in your iPhone settings and turn it on. With Apple's iPhone and the benefit of Apple being able to develop its software and hardware in-house, Apple has the advantage of being able to op optimize its hardware components and minimize battery usage. It's generally agreed that even though iPhones tend to have a lower battery capacity, its battery performance is better optimized than its competitors. So your battery drains more slowly over the same type of usage than on an Android phone would. This offers several advantages as you can squeeze a lot more battery life out of the same kind of task and apps from your iPhone than you would from its Android counterpart. For me, it's always been pretty evident that while other brands are slowly catching up, the battery performance on the iPhones due to Apple's hardware optimization is second to none. I can use my apps for longer periods of times and it always seems that my iPhone has a lot longer charge particularly under 10% compared to some of the other Android phones that I've used. And Apple hasn't exactly fallen asleep at the wheel in terms of different updates and versions of some of the battery features on its iPhones, as Apple has continually rolled out features and improved on old ones to allow iPhone users the most out of their charges. Things like optimized adaptive battery charging and a newly induced dark mode really have Apple as being a market leader in terms of battery performance. So in this video we'll, we'll be going over optimized battery charging on the iPhone. The iPhone, like all other smartphones on the market today, contains a lithium ion battery and these batteries have finite lifespans. As you can imagine, the battery in your iPhone and its longevity will degrade over time and this will affect the battery and in turn the phone's performance and longevity. The more you use the battery and the more you charge your phone, the more it degrades. Optimized adaptive charging is an attempt from phone manufacturers to slow down this degradation. In a nutshell, on the iPhone, it's an algorithm designed by Apple to attempt to analyze your charging habits. It attempts to do this to see when you charge to near 100% capacity. And once it has enough data, it will start charging your iPhone at roughly 80% so that your phone doesn't charge at 100%. What's different about this feature is that optimized adaptive charging analyzes your own personal charging habits and it's customized to how you use and charge your phone. For example, the way the algorithm works is that if you go to bed every day at 8 p.m. and you charge your phone at this time and wake up at 6 a.m. and unplug your phone, optimized adaptive charging will recognize this and stop charging at roughly 80% sometime before you wake up. When the algorithm has determined is the appropriate time to do so, it will be begin charging your phone from 80% so that you get to 100% when you wake up. This way, your iPhone is not overcharging at 100% and your iPhone's batteries is better preserved. So, if you're planning on keeping your iPhone and your iPhone battery at peak performance for a few years, you'll likely want to take advantage of this feature on your iPhone. So let's take a look at where you can turn on and turn off optimized battery charging. You want to head into the settings menu on your iPhone. You want to go down to the battery portion. Then you want to go into battery health. At the bottom of the battery health menu, you'll have the to toggle to turn on optimized battery charging on or off. Bear in mind that once you turn optimized battery charging on, it takes a little bit for your Apple iPhone to analyze your charging habits in order to best suit optimized battery charging for your personalized charging profile. So you'll likely see that your iPhone will be charging a little bit differently after a few days of turning optimized battery charging on. As someone that likes to charge my iPhone at my desk at work, I do find that optimized battery charging is able to keep it at 80 to 
at times when I don't use the iPhone, and I found that the algorithm was fairly successful in analyzing my own charging habits. On a side note, if you want to check out some of the other features that the iPhone has in terms of battery health, the battery health menu from the settings option has a lot of information in terms of your own battery usage and the breakdown of apps and other processes on your iPhone that do use your battery. Check out my full video on the battery health menu in the full link in the description below for further information. So there you have it everyone. Optimized adaptive battery charging. While it isn't unique on the iPhone, Apple certainly has made large strides in terms of battery performance and features on the iPhone like optimized battery charging in order to prolong the lifetime of your iPhone's battery. So what do you think? Is this an effective feature for the iPhone? Has the iPhone's battery performance improved over the generations of the iPhone? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.